From Victories, we're Blading Finger. You're watching Capital City Live. Capital City Live, and I am here with Blayton Finger. Guys, how you doing tonight? Good. good. Very good. They just uh, tore through a pretty fun set here at Victory, so sitting down having a little chat with them. So you guys are like the elder statesmen of, of the scene around here. Oh, be careful now. You've been around for a while. You know, how, how long have you guys been around? Oh. Take us through, I mean, the, the Cliffs Notes. I'm sure we oh, could sit here for an hour. And that's impossible, but uh, yeah, we, we started in uh, Newark, over there in Newark, uh, about really? in the early 90s, yeah. We're from Newark. You are. Small ass oh. world. But yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long time. A few so. lineup changes, we kind of whittle it down to the least dramatic folk that we can, but no, it's, it's been a good ride, yeah. That's a dynamic that I noticed watching you guys. It looks like everyone is having a good time. There's not a lot of pressure you know you see bands and somebody will miss a note and everyone will turn and stare at them you know it looks like it's genuinely fun when you guys are playing so it's, you know is this something that's definitely like a labor of love at this point i mean we've pretty much doctor filled our way down to this lineup so we're, we're we have a good time now so how how do you think things have changed in columbus musically over the last so many years i mean you look at Columbus from one year to the next and things can be radically different. I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of changes. It's definitely more metal metal these days, you know. <laughs> Not so much punk rock as much. Yeah, it seems like the, the punk scene's kind of dwindling down, but there's that handful of people that are really fighting to, to keep it going. Doing that, it seems like it's kind of morphed into this thing where every genre of punk kind of gets... Equal representation is a lot of cross-pollination style-wise, which I think is pretty cool. Well, I think one of the major things I've seen um, since we began was like that people um, generally like to go out just to check out and, and see bands, you know, kind of pre-Pandora, there's like, people are like, I want to go out, whoever's playing, you know, I'm open, let's, let's see who's out there, who's playing. I see a little bit less than that, but probably these days though it's like with facebook and, and everything the one good thing is you can you could almost have a show anywhere really that that's kind of about the only cool thing these days and, and you can find new bands much easier if you want to well speaking of playing anywhere you guys played hell city tattoo fest correct yeah. tell us a little bit about that experience how was that uh it's great because i mean i don't have tattoos i don't know I don't. I don't. Uh, do you? Uh, I do tattoos. <laughs> yeah, so. It's interesting for us, but there's a lot of buzzing and humming going on. So I don't know. I don't know what to think of that. But yeah, I mean, actually, uh, Derb that uh, that started Hell City. Um, he, he and I grew up in New York again together. So so we kind of you know we've been doing that. We did the first one and maybe the second one. And, now we've come, I don't know how long it's been going, but Over did it. Yeah. It was cool when he, came, when he got up on stage too, Derb, when he got up on stage and sang uh, a song with us. Some old school Newark hardcore. You um, were telling me a little bit about your new record that came out a little while ago. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Where'd you record? Uh, we went in John Schwab. John again. Schwab, yeah. So that was fun. We spent a lot of time on it. And, Added a lot of a lot of instrumental stuff that uh, you know we tried to maximize the studio as much as we could this last time. I think using a nice facility like that definitely opens up doors that you don't ordinarily think to go into when you're just kind of in a fly-by-night spot or somebody's basement just laying it down. Uh, did you find that to be the case? I mean, did... yeah. I mean, a lot of people get good good recordings out of their basement. Um, you're not going to get that from me, so <laughs> I, I can take a, a patch cord and plug it into a Fender amp, and that's about it. So I appreciate anybody who can do anything with Pro Tools, and and so uh, Colin uh, 
at, at Schwab, you know, he, he's really a master of the, of the Pro Tools, so we appreciate that. But, you know, these guys, we spent a lot of time in uh, um, full on empty is really, you know, it's something we've been, we put a lot of time and effort in at Schwab, so we're checking out. Before we sign off, uh, introduce yourselves. Let the people know who you are. I'm Mark. Play bass. Uh, Fred, I play guitar. Kerry, drums. Tom, rhythm guitar, singer. Tim, host. <laughs> so, uh, where can people find you online? Not Face the sheriff's website. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Facebook.com. Uh, Finger. Slash bacon finger. Thanks for watching. For additional content, including a live performance from Blatant Finger, subscribe to our channel. Also, like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Capital City Live Ohio. Signing off for victories. This is Tim. Thanks for watching.